today I discuss what is the difference between thyroglossal cyst and branchial cyst. You know the thyroid gland is divided into form endoderm uh, from the floor of the pharynx uh, in between first and second pharyngeal arches. This is the tongue and this is the anterior two third and posterior two third at the junction this is the foramen cica so endoderm is make a thyroglossal duct from this location and from this thyroglossal duct the thyroid gland is start to form and it leave this place is migrate inferiorly along the midline along the midline it reach above the hyoid bone then below the hyoid bone then front of the thyroid cartilage and within six week of the development it reaches its final position so this is the normal pathway uh, through this the thyroid gland is uh, leave its or, uh, original location from where it develop and reach its final destination so the connection uh, between final destination and origin is lost but in ectopic location of the thyroid gland um, anywhere in this pathway its uh, um, further uh, movement may arise when the thyroid gland is remain within this area thyroglossal cyst is fine here it may find above the hyoid bone below the hyoid bone in front of the thyroid cartilage so in thyroglossal cyst the swelling is always midline and you see there is a connection present with tongue so movement of the tongue causes its this swelling also move along with the movement of the tongue this is branchial cyst it mm, never in the midline it always present laterally and movement of the tongue this does not move with the movement of the tongue this all if you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel thank you for watching